realize one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. And here's your host. Miss Kim Robinson. Hey, this is Nina Taylor on Elation Radio, now being heard 24 hours a day, seven days a week, giving you nothing but the best in great music, ministry, and more. And don't forget to check me out with the gospel news right here with my girl, Kimmy Kim, on Elation Radio.
to Fellowship Friday with Kim and Kim. Wow, that number, that's the one. I looked at her this morning, and what a blessing, because of who you are. Hallelujah. And that is from the south of Imani. And uh, welcome to Fellowship Friday with Kim and Kim. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we're going to rejoice and be glad in it because we serve a great God. And because of who he is, we cannot lose. I am still reminded that is an amazing, amazing day. And I cannot wait to talk to these um, wonderful brothers and sisters in the Lord's sound of Imani. I love this song. And uh, before we bring them on, yes, Lord. Let's first go to the Father in prayer because I really believe in fellowshipping, and this is a fellowshipping time with them. They are so amazing. This is an amazing song, and it came at the right time for me. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you once again for your grace. Thank you for your mercy, Father God. Thank you once again for Purpose Living, and that is all about glorifying you, spreading the good news gospel in your name, Father. I love you so much, Father. Let this be about just showing people what we can do in you and letting them know that when they decrease themselves and allow you to work it out and, um, and to drive on their behalf, their life will never be in the be the same. So, Father God, I just thank you for healing. I thank you for, wow, I just thank you for being you, Father God. You are my everything. Because of who you are, I am who I am today. So, Father God, we're going to make this prayer in your son Jesus' name. And without further ado, we have my brother and my sister, the sound of it, Monty. How you doing? All right. How are you doing? All right. Oh, my goodness. Worshiping song. It's like when you listen to the words and the lyrics and the track, it all plays in the world. But just like listening to that song reminds me of who we are in God. And I thank you so much for that song. And this is for you. Oh, yeah. Welcome. Hey, welcome. Yeah. Thank you. It came at the right time for me. And I really needed that. That was wow. Like, uh, I was in tears. I was like internally in tears, like, wow, God, you're just so amazing. And uh, thank you so much for giving little little Kimmy Kim the opportunity to fellowship with you on Friday. And uh, I know that you're you're making music and you're amazing because, you know, Brother Clarkson is amazing. So you have to be amazing because he's amazing. (laughs) Absolutely. (laughs) He's an amazing brother. Yes, he is. We thank him so much. Yeah. 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 Thank you. So tell me about. Thank you. No, thank you. And you know what's so amazing <laughs> that you don't have to meet people in the physical. When you listen to their lyrics, and the spirit is already connected. So we're connected already in the spirit. That, that's, that's right. right. That's you right. Know? And that, that's how deep God is. We are like in different states, and I feel connected to you based on that song and based on what I have heard. I know you love the Lord. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Amen. <laughs> Couldn't live without him. That's right. right. I know. So tell us who you are in the Lord and, you know, who you are. And and uh, I just want to know more about you, you know. You both. Okay. I, can, well, I, I believe you're a couple, right? I, I see. Yes, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah. Uh, I see yeah. that. Adam and Eve, but I just see that. You, you guys came together, and God just said, you guys are working together, and you just want to show the couples how you can still have fun with each other. <laughs> Amen. 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 Yeah. Well, well, you know, we are, we're husband and wife, uh-huh. you know, and okay. we're pastors. Yep, and wow. we, uh, <laughs> we do everything together. We pray together. You know, we serve together. We sing together. We worship together. Um, our family Amen. is together, and, and we just... Uh, Love each other, you know. We, I tell everybody, I say, my, me and my wife are still dating. We just have a great time in the Lord. Amen. Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, yeah, for sure. Now, yeah. my sister, when you can have a man bounce for you, <laughs> that's deep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my sister, I tell you, I am truly grateful, and uh, you know, it's just a joy to be able to 
um, you know, have have your husband there with you to sing with and um, to minister the word of God with and to, um, you know, to go to the different outings that we have, uh, and you know, including prison outreach and stuff like that. We do it all together. And uh, it, it's such a pleasure to be able to do that and um, have someone right there by your side that, you know, you can depend on. And uh, just, you know, and just give the people the best of what God wants them to have. Amen. And I love this already because you're demonstrating that not only can you be best friends with your uh, mate that God has sent you, you can work together, you can pray together, and you become best of friends. And, and you still don't get tired of each other when it's sent from God. So this is for you both. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You know, so God God is just so wonderful, you know, because with our music as well, we write uh our music mm-hmm. together. We we sing the background to our music and we and we you know, we just uh put God in whatever we do and it makes it all work. So I, I just praise God because I tell everybody I say, my wife is like my master card. I never leave home without it. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> wow! So how do you guys write together? Because when it's a um, um, when it's like a team, how do you know that this is the song that God want us both to do together? Because when you are on one team, you both you know want to agree and uh, pray on it and allow God to definitely uh, bless it. But how do you know that this is the song that God created for you both? Because it's a duel, not you know a one sided. Um, Right. Well, well, you know, we we share. You know, we uh-huh. share the the word of God. We share the wisdom of God. And um, mm-hmm. when we're writing, we we be in the spirit of God, and He begins to minister to both of us uh-huh. at the same time. So, you know, God is, is a great God and an awesome God. And when you allow God to come in, and um, He speaks, you know, and it goes with the flow of of the anointing of God when you start writing together. You know, because we both have our testimonies and we put what we've been through in the songs and it, we pray mm. that it affects others the same way, you know, because we, we all have testimonies. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And yeah. then, you know, there've been times when, you know, we get up and, uh, you know, I say, Oh, you know, it'll be like midnight or, or one o'clock in the morning. Hey, you know, get up. We got a, uh, I got this song. <laughs> you know, got, this, <laughs> got this song on, on my heart, you know, and let's, let's, let's run upstairs. We're going to plug it, plug it out. And, and and then we'll go from there. And so we that's how we have come up with, with writing a lot of our uh, material um, when we, wow. you know, we had that experience. Like, get up now, get up now. Oh, can we do it later? No, we got to do it now because it's going to go. <laughs> it's going to wow, go. So it's going to go if we don't go put it down. So you are definitely a Proverbs 3110 who never, well, I'm sure we sleep, but you know how we get up in the morning and you make, make sure right. the household is right. And that includes the spiritual work as well. See, look at that. You got a Proverbs 3110 woman. You are blessed. <laughs> I'm sure you're blessed. Too, too. <laughs> That's amazing that you, yes. you're like, get up. <laughs> and God gave us another word. And he is obedient because I really believe that uh, when you see couples like you, you both are working together, uh-huh. and you're uh-huh. doing how you're really formalizing the family that God had intended to, because when we uh-huh. follow the model of family by God, it works. And you're showing us that it does work. So you're amazing. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. yes. Faith I love clapping work. because I love my Lord. I'm sorry. I just love clapping because you guys are definitely <laughs> showing us that the family is still in existence. We're just seeing the family on television because they tend to, you know, use the bad um, news. But when you hear family like yourselves, it's amazing that we do see that model. We just don't hear about it. And with that being said, what keeps you guys going? You know, I know you're dating and you guys still dating. Do you set time for each other outside of ministry? How do you continue on the fire? Well, you you know, it, it's all God, you know. God, uh, he disciplined us. He disciplined us and he corrects us, you know. And, and I tell a lot of uh, the church members, I say, we're, we're your pastors, but God is our pastor. We have to consult in God. We have to allow God to minister into our souls as well, you know, because I said there's yeah. nobody perfect. 
I say, don't don't look at us and say, y'all perfect, y'all perfect. No, we, you know, everybody makes mistakes, you know, but you you disagree to agree, you know, and Amen. and how we keep the foundation of God, you know, we we have our radio broadcast it's called Give God the Glory Broadcast, and one of our mottos is that if God is in it, you can win it, you know. So and we we stand stand by that, and we just love, you know, what God is doing in our life, you know. So. You know, you can run through some hard times, and, you know, you just have to trust God, knowing that uh, if you wait on the Lord, he's going to show up. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. And my sister, um, yep. how do you uh, manage so many roles? Because uh, you're, like you said, you both are pastors, and then not only uh-huh. that, your uh, family members, and I'm sure your uh, sisters or mothers or grandmothers, I mean, I don't know your grandmother, but, you know, you have so many yes. cats. How do you maintain that positivity in your work when it comes to writing good music? How do you remain that, um, you know, how that fire, how does that fire stay within you? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good question because, um, you know, with everything, you know, there there can be trying times as well with, you know, wearing different hats. But I think that once you put everything into perspective, uh, and you know the vision that God has given you because, see, a lot of times, you know, people, we, we lose our perspective on things. And we have yeah. to hold on to that vision because that vision that God has given us, that uh, kind of breathes forth that perspective that we have. It kind of gets things in order. That's why in the uh, in the uh, book of Habakkuk, he said write the vi- he was told to write the vision and make it plain. Make a plan. That he may run that readeth it, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. It shall speak, it shall come to pass. So once you realize that, no matter how many hats you may wear, you know the vision that God has given you. And, Lord, I'm holding on to that vision. Lord, I'm going to do all of the, the yeah. gifts and talents that you have given me. I'm going to be that mother that you want me to be. I'm going to be that grandmother that you want me to be. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be that, that helpmate. I'm going to be... The, the, the singer, the 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 writer, all of those things that um that that you want me to be, I can be that because I I have latched hold to that vision and I won't forget that vision. I've written that vision down. That vision is imprinted in my head, and I'm going to hold on to that. And therefore, everything that I do is going to be put in perspective. I'm going to make time for each uh each aspect mm. of that vision. I'm going to make some time out. And, uh, and 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 I'm going to watch and see God move in areas. And if I need help, I know that God is going to, God is, sends that help that we need, you know. Um, so that's, that's wow. one way, you know, just putting everything in per, into perspective and allowing the proper time for each thing that you do. And I'm going to be honest, you guys have amazing voices. And not only do you have amazing voices, I feel the anointed. I mean, you can sing. But you may not be able to do it. But you guys have to I feel it. Thank you. I feel it. Thank okay. you. Oh, they are so blessed. So, with that being thank said, you. what would you – no, thank you for allowing me to um, <laughs> with you today, you and my brother. Yeah. Who do you guys uh, tend to, um, when it comes to your music, who are some of your favorites out there? Wow. You know, we I know we, we sit down and we talk about it a lot. Everybody asks us that, you know. And sometimes we out people like you guys are the the uh, Ashford and Simpson of gospel. Yeah, heard gospel, <laughs> y'all. We be seeing your gospel, you know. And, and you know, we tell them we, we we love music. We love the Hawking singers. We love uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire. We love that, you know. And we yeah. love. Uh, I love it all. Yeah, so you know, we try to you know keep it within the, the scope of how God has blessed our music to be. You know, so yeah. and, and as we as we're writing, you know, we we it hits us at different times, you know, and the majority of the time it'd be like at night or early in, in the morning, three and four in the morning. <laughs> you just can't lie down. You just got to get up and, and he when that fire starts <laughs> manifesting, you got to let God have His way with you. Yeah. You know? Because he won't let you sit, uh, sleep like he did with Elijah when he was trying to right. sleep. He won't let you sleep. You know, he's going to say, you better get up every time. So, like, God, would you, how come every uh, day at 4 a.m. I'm getting up? Because he wants you guys to write that song for people like me to hear. I'm like, because I came back to 
the gospel on its own. Um, I was a prodigal daughter. You know, I've been in church all my life. But I was to make the long story short, back in 98, uh-huh. it wasn't a sermon that got me. It was a song by Kirk Carr. And so your song, your music does impact people to want to understand the word of God more. Don't get me wrong, even though I really believe it's the word that keeps you, but the music gets yeah. near of people, the law. And if it wasn't for the music, I don't know where I'd be because I love music. I was like, God, whatever you do, please don't take music away because I love music. I, I love your music. And how long have you guys been singing? And sing it together. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, we've been singing since um, 1996, singing together since 96. Yeah. And, Are you um, serious? And you still yes. have that fire? Wow. Yes. I thought you guys were fired. Okay. Okay. I got to give you kudos on that one. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Since 1996, and our very first, uh, very first performance was at the Michigan State Fair in uh uh in 96 and uh and uh you know it was just so exciting to have that <laughs> and memory and uh you know and and God's been just touching us ever since and we just kept on going and kept on going and kept on going that's why I was mentioning that you know when you have the vision that God has given you and you believe it by faith that 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 God orchestrated that for you. There's nothing that's going to turn you around, and that doesn't mean that you you won't get disappointed about things, or there won't be some yeah. ups and downs or some bumps in the road. Amen. But when you have that vision, you hold on to that vision. And Imani, uh, as a matter of fact, means faith. And so um, mm-hmm. we definitely. I didn't know that. Thank did. you. I love yeah. that. I didn't know that. Yes, mm. yes, and we definitely live the life that we sing about for sure. It's a faith faith walk for us, yes. Yeah, and you know you're gonna have those moments where you you get a dry season, you know, but you you have to trust God. That's the whole thing mm-hmm. about doing what we do is trusting God, you know, because uh, everybody mm. like you know you have people that want to prophesy, but you know sometimes God don't don't say a lot. You know, He allow you to come closer to Him to <laughs> trust Him more. You know, you be looking for answers. You be somebody says, "I need a prophetic word." No, you need God. Yes. And you God are so will. right because you are so right because you got to be careful about people who prophesy over you. You don't know if that's what exactly. God wants you to do. You're so, so right, my brother. Oh Amen. my goodness. You You're guys. You're amazing. I love you guys. You guys are like oh, boys. You're in love. You're friends. You're pastors. You guys know your role. And she submits. I could tell she submits this because she loves you and you love Christ as you love yes. the church. Yes. And with all that being said, when is that book coming out? <laughs> <laughs> well, we did it in the Yeah, it, it, yeah, and I'm glad. I'm glad you mentioned that because um, we will be we we are in the process of working on a book. Um, you know, um, outlining all of the different ups and downs that we have been through, but how how you continue to hold on to God's unchanging hand in the midst of adversity or in the midst of trials and tribulations. How do you hold on to God's unchanging hand? And so we're going to be writing a book on that, uh, the history of Sons of Imani, and you know, and how uh, how to hold on and and don't give up, don't yeah. throw in the tiles, towel, because Sometimes, you know, uh, you know, we get so disgusted at things that sometimes people jump out of the boat before the boat gets to the shore, and so you got to stay, <laughs> you got to stay in that boat till that boat out. gets to that that land. Yeah, yeah. You know, you so that. you can, yes, yes. Yeah, and, and you know, you got to you gotta stay in that boat. Oh yeah, I, I tell people, I say, you know, you can, instead of hanging on, you got to hold on. Amen. Got, you know, because you you're holding. <laughs> you're holding on to God's unchanging hand, you know, and God would, he told us, I would never leave you nor forsake you, you know, so, so why not serve a God who can always love you despite us, you know, and I, and I just thank God, you know, because, you know, like you said, we're writing a book and, and the secular side, when I used to do secular music and stuff, so it, I thought I was in love with that, but when I got, really got the relationship with God, I, I saw mm-hmm. what I was missing. And I saw this. This is a greater love than the, that 
other love because, you know, you can't serve two masters. You're going to hate one or love the other. Exactly. So I choose. But what, I he, choose but what he did was, this is what I love about God. He took what you love about music, but he made the music uh, that because you have so much passion for the music, he allowed the music to be part of your ministry. He said, you can yeah. still have fun. You just got to have fun with me. <laughs> Isn't that <laughs> God? God is just so amazing. Yeah, yeah. Have fun with me. You can still make your beautiful music, and you can still make love music with your wife. But just do it for me, so that people yeah. think they have to have fun in the Lord. Because people think we're boring. Christians are boring. We don't have fun. We don't do anything. All we do, do is go to church. But we are the church, and you're just yeah. really um, showing that we can have fun. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. That is so true. Yeah. You know, and 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 we uh, we just love your spirit, Kimmy. <laughs> I love y'all yes. spirit. That's what I'm saying. It's amazing how you can connect with people through the spirit. That's why I go based on the spirit, not based on if I ever met it, because you can meet people, and you still want to pray for them if they don't have that. But it's amazing when you can meet God's people in the spirit, and you just know them based on the spirit. Because when you have that love in your heart, you got to know who your father is, you know? Amen. Amen. That's right. yeah. Yes, Lord. Right. I preach but this is not about me. And I have a couple more questions, and I know you guys are busy, but I would love to know, what what books do you guys love to uh, read together? Well, um, you know, we have we have a couple of them that we like to read. I know um, uh, we especially bought this new one that uh, Dr. Teresa Harrison uh, uh, of Gospel Today magazine, she wrote a new book called Stop uh, waiting and start winning, and it's how to put your vision into perspective. Um, that we have read that and have been so um, uh, inspired by that to continue pursuing every goal that that uh, that we know that God has placed in our heart, and uh, so that's one of the books that we have read. Um, there are also a couple of books that are. Uh, by Doc, uh, Dr. Pastor Rod Parsley, um, and oh. he has written a couple of books on faith. And he's our our overseer, by the way. We, uh, you know, our ministry is under City Harvest Network. And um, wow! So, so there are a couple of faith faith filled books that he has written. And uh, so, you know, we kind of try to stay on top of things, you know, um, exactly. and, and 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 read as well. And then there is like. You know, um, music business books. We're always reading something. You know, this business of music. That's a that's a big one that that we uh, we write and uh, read a, a lot um, because you have to stay you have to stay relevant. You have to stay on top of things. You have to um, yes. you know know what's going on with social media. So there's social media books that we read. Um, there's always something. I mean, ebooks. There's um, you know, yeah, I mean, you know, we have a library. Yes, we do. We do. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. It's important. Yeah. Yes, it, it yes. really is. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. if you don't read, you won't have no knowledge. Mm-hmm. 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 And and we read, uh, so, you know, a lot of fiction books, too. Uh, we read the Bible. The Bible. That's the first one that's on the list. The first one I is the Bible. I know you guys read the Bible. What's your, first, what's your favorite oh, yeah. book from the Bible? I already know that. I knew that. Yeah. You got to know <laughs> the word. Well, one of my favorite books is Nehemiah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh really? Yeah, yeah Nehemiah. Okay. Uh-huh. You know, because why he, Nehemiah? He I'm, I'm, that that's uncommon. Why? <laughs> well, well, see, Nehemiah, he he was a uh, 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 God has spoke to him to go and help rebuild the wall. You know, because sometimes our walls are being torn down by the adversary, and and sometimes mm. fear fear be placed in people's heart, and they just stagnated. They don't want to do nothing because you know they don't believe in themselves. But Nehemiah came Ooh. and and ministered that word to him, you know, and told him, hey, we're going to labor in one hand and, and guard in the other hand. And you know how the enemy came up to uh, spirit mm. came up and tried to mm. manipulate the others from working on the wall to keep the wall from being built. But Nehemiah told him, hey, don't pay that mess no attention. We got work to do. You know, we're going to we're gonna continue to go forth. So when you have a ministry, you got that uh, – have the other ones to understand that through Christ Jesus, you can do all things, you know, and keep your mind focused and don't allow the adversary to come and take you off your, you know, your, your, your job, you know, so it, it's a powerful book. You know, it, it explains how God had commissioned 
and had all, and he he didn't have nothing to worry about because he prayed to God and God had already supplied all the stuff that he needed. All he had to do was show up and let God show up. You guys mm-hmm. have so much word in you. I mean, I could talk to you both all day long, and I'm like, <laughs> wow. I'm just amazed by it. I know God can do all things, but just to meet wonderful people is Amen. so amazing, who love the Lord with all their heart, soul, and might, and you love your family as much. And yes. it's amazing how you find people who are just sold out because, unfortunately, you do run into, you know, interesting people, and you have to still pray for them. But it's a blessing to run into you and my sister, and you you love the Lord. You, you're still continuing on spreading the gospel, not only as a individual, but as married couples, because God created the family first. And, Amen. wow. You guys yeah, are yeah. taking my uh, breath away. I'm just like, wow. I mean, uh, I, didn't uh, know, uh, I didn't know you guys have been singing that long together. I you guys uh, yeah. 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 Yes. And we, we thank uh, yes. Brother Carlton. Cause oh, yeah. We love Carlton. <laughs> he said, oh, my yeah, God. He's, he's amazing. He's yeah, he is. He's you amazing. Know, he, he, we pray with him sometimes. You know, we, we, he took him every time he called. He said, hey, Bishop. <laughs> wow. I said, no. Hey. I called him. I said, hey, Rev, how you doing? <laughs> yeah. so before we leave, I want to definitely have you on Elation Magazine as a feature um, um, artist, but I can use you both sometimes if you ever want to write, and I need a feature, feature pastors next year, too. So I'll be definitely reaching out to you both for – you know, each month. Oh, before, be nice. you, know, you guys got so many gifts. It's like, <laughs> I mean, you're writers, you're, you're pastoring, you're singers, you are love music. I mean, you got, that's amazing when you use your gift wisely. God will bless you more gifts and more gifts. And then before you know, you're like, wow. So you guys have so many gifts. And I would love to definitely um, honor that and, and to um, spread that abroad because I really believe that yeah. when we, collaborate like the business and secular world does, you know, God can, people can see that people in the body of Christ, we do get along. And yes, we have issues, but we still love each other. And love is a deed. That's why we must support each other. So yes, I really believe right. in doing that. Amen. So before you leave, I would love for you to give, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm just so excited. I'm sorry. Oh, no, I'm just so excited. Saying. You guys are amazing. <laughs> I was just saying, all say? glory goes to God. All yes, glory yes. goes to God. Yes. yes. But he did say, I can edify my brother and my sister, so I'm edifying you. So you just say thank you. It's okay. Amen. <laughs> we, 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 we appreciate you so much. Amen. No, I appreciate you all. Yeah. I just Amen. love this because it shows that God is in the midst, and secondly, there's nothing too hard for God. So, uh, we're closing. I would love for you to, for one, uh, give your contact information on how people can book you. Secondly, if you have um, some inspirational, uh, um, you know, message that you can give to us for the remainder of the week, and pray us out. And if you do have time, also give us a synopsis of because of who you are, because I want to play that as the closing song. I love that song. That song blessed me. It oh, wow. yes. was well needed today. I was like, okay. I was like literally lifting up my hands to the Lord. It's like, thank you, Lord. You're just so amazing. Yes. You're so good. Yes. I don't know why you love me so much. It, it just gives you like you go you go back into your memory lane on how you used to be, even though we, I still got a lot further to do because, to be like Jesus. But it's just amazing what God can do in the midst of mess. Oh, yes. and I just love that song. Oh, yes. Yes. yes, it is. It's amazing what he can do. Um, you know, if uh, anyone would like to uh, contact us or book us for an event, they can contact us at 313-308-5935. And uh, so 313-308-5935, or they can contact us by way of email. Our email is imagegroove at gmail.com. That's I M A N I. G R O O V E, Imani Groove at gmail.com. And um, uh, because of who you are, the, um, the basis behind that song is that, you know, sometimes, you, you know, we 
you know, tend to ask God for a lot of things, you know, which we are supposed to do that. He's our father in heaven. We go to him with whatever our petitions are, and, you know, you know, but do, do we ever just sit down and think, thank him for being who he is? I mean, God, I just thank you for who you are. You looked out for me so many times. You made a way for me uh, so many times, Lord, when I didn't have this or I didn't have that. You you were there, God, and I just thank you for you being who you are, you know, aside from just, you know, oh, God, I'm I'm, I'm coming to you because I'm asking you for something. But, God, I'm coming to you today because I want to praise you for who you are. I want to lift you up for being the I am that I am. And so that was the basis for uh, writing uh, because of who you are song. Yes, yes Lord. Wow. <laughs> you know, so God is just so mm-hmm. faithful to us, you know. And um, I, I want to let everybody know that if God has given you a vision, I'll, I'll, they should go into the book of Philippians um, chapter 3, verse 14 through 15. says, press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. You know, and it says, let us therefore as many as be perfect. You know, so God wants us to press towards the mark. He don't want, he wants us to stay focused. He wants us to rely on him. And who's, he don't want us to worry about who's in the race because God is the finisher. And when we reach out towards the mark, God will bless us with quadruple blessings. So we have to uh, keep our mind focused on God focus on the things that he has yeah. given us to press towards and don't let yeah. the adversary and intervene with our mind focusing on the mark of God that he has given us, you know, so, and that's what we do. We, we're pressing towards the mark. We're knowing that when we get there, God has something greater and better. So we, we rely, we rely on God's anointing the Holy spirit. And we just, you know, cause remember when Jesus left, he said, I'll go away, but I'll leave with you. The comforter. Yeah, and, and that's the Holy Spirit, you know. And some of us forget that the Holy Spirit is there, and we get all discombobulated and get all upset, and all we have to do is just call on the Holy Spirit, and God is there to rescue us. Amen. Amen. That's the answer. Call on yep. Jesus' name. And, you know, so, uh, and he'll Amen. Be there for you. Amen. So we just thanking God. So I, I thank you, uh, Sister Kenny, because uh, you have inspired our hearts even more, you know, to continue to do what we do. We we pray all the time that our music uplifts the saints of God and be a blessing into their life, you know. So I, yeah. I thank God. It was so, such a blessing this morning, and I just want to thank you for that. It was well needed because sometimes we got to um, uplift each other, and that's why when he says to love your neighbor as you love yourself, it also amen. means when you see that person down, it may not yeah. be, you know, you may not touch me, but your, your soul touched me in my spirit. <laughs> yeah. Amazing what words can do. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I know Amen. this won't be the last time I talk to you because Amen. Amen. Um, <laughs> my brother, if I can feature you both, and I would love to know when you have that book, so I can definitely, uh, you know, tell people. You know, all right, yeah. we tell good news. I love good news. I'm a good news person. I love good news. And All right, we love it. Love it. Yes. 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 yes, he does. Amen. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we yes, just praise Lord. your name today, God. We uplift you. Lord, I just pray that whatever you have given us today, Lord, that somebody's souls will be touched, somebody's life will be changed. And, Father God, we just pray for our sister Kimmy, oh, God, that you have opened many doors for her, Lord God. We pray in the name of Jesus that uh, what she does for the kingdom, oh, God, is just multiplied to her blessings and to what you're about to put in her life. We thank you for the listeners that are tuned in. We thank you, God, for the communication. And, Lord, also, God, we just thank you for loving us. We thank you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes, yes, Amen. And you be blessed, my brother, my sister, and I cannot 
wait until I hear from you again. That book is going to be awesome. You're going to be awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and one thing, one thing I love about your spirit, both of your spirit, I know it's hard to let go when you have a, such a good time. But one thing I love about your spirit is that it's contagious. And when, when good people oh. like you, I mean, I, I understand the Bible said there's no good people, but I still believe that when Jesus covers mm-hmm. us, we became righteous. And so you had to be good. So with that being said, yeah. when you're around good people such as you, you're amazing. I mean, it's like you're inspiring me to do more today because because you just gave me the um, the uh, medicine that I needed. That no matter what we are facing, yeah. we can still look towards yes. our help, and our help comes from the Lord, and He did yes. not leave us comfortless because He left us oh, with the right. Holy Spirit. Yes. And I yes. just want to thank you for giving us the reminder of that because sometimes we may get so caught up in our problems that sometimes the common sense sometimes is not around and. This was amazing. So I'm going to pray and um, play this wonderful song, and I just pray that you have a great week. And if Always. if you need me to do anything, please don't hesitate to call. And no. I just hey. thank you so much for this opportunity. Oh, uh, thank, thank you, you Kimmy. So uh, we just had a great time, and and uh, to the audience, uh, we ho- hope that something we said today have really uh, burned in your heart today to inspire you to to move forward. And thank you so much, Kim. You're welcome. Be blessed. Amen. Welcome to our family, Kim. (laughs) Yeah. I'll be back now. (laughs) And I love, Uh, hey, I love chilling, too. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) oh, (laughs) you'd be surprised. I can cook it. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) With hot sauce on it. Yeah, you have a good night. You have a good one, okay? Okay, you too. Bye. All right. Your play.